It's Umsum time! Is diabetes hereditary? Diabetes. Is that the name of a new donut? No. Huh? There are two types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 diabetes generally appears during adolescence. However, it is not necessarily huh? hereditary. In fact, the genetic features of a person make them more vulnerable to it, adding certain risk factors, like living in cold climates or contracting some stomach viruses are known to activate type 1 diabetes in people who are susceptible to it. Also, type 1 diabetes is seen more in children who haven't been breastfed sufficiently. But type 2 diabetes does have a strong connection to family history. Children of type 2 diabetic parents do have a high probability of getting diabetic. However, even though there is a strong genetic basis, lifestyle choices also have a significant impact. Maintaining an active lifestyle and staying fit can help people avoid type 2 diabetes. <laughs> How does anesthesia work? It acts like a sponge and absorbs all the pain. Nah. Nowadays, during a surgery or a dental treatment, we don't feel pain. Sometimes, we are not even conscious. This state is called anesthesia, and the drugs which induce anesthesia are called anesthetics. There are three types of anesthesia, local, regional, and general. Hmm. Local and regional anesthesia are almost the same. In these types, the anesthetics block the nerves of only a small area of the body without making the person unconscious. Hence, the pain signals from that area don't reach the brain, making it insensitive towards pain. Now, in general anesthesia, the anesthetic is injected through a vein, making us completely unconscious. It is thought that the general anesthetic interrupts the normal firing pattern of neurons in the brain. Hence, different regions of the brain cannot communicate effectively with each other, making us completely unconscious. Hmm. Why do elephants never forget? Because I take their homework every day. Nah. It is because elephants have a relatively high and impressive encephalization quotient. Higher encephalization quotient means the brain is bigger than the size expected for an animal of its size. Elephants have an EQ of about 1.88. In comparison, humans have an EQ of about 7. Rats about 0.4, while pigs about 0.27. This shows that elephants have a relatively high EQ which makes their memory strong. Moreover, an incident in Tennessee even proved this fact. Two elephants, Jenny and Shirley, were together for a few months in a circus. When they reunited after 23 years, they became excited and started bellowing, indicating that they remembered each other. Also, studies have shown that elephants remember the way to water sources even after a long period of time. Hmm. Are dolphins smart? Not smarter than me. I'm the smartest of them all. You wish. Dolphins belong to the family of cetaceans, which includes aquatic animals like whales and porpoises. Cetaceans have gradually evolved over millions of years to become the present-day dolphins, which have large, complex brains. Now, coming back to the question, are dolphins smart? The answer is yes. The large, complex brains of the dolphins help them perform various functions which are usually not seen in other animals. Hmm. One of these functions is human-like socializing, which can be seen when bottlenose dolphins form a group to hunt. By beating its tail, a bottlenose dolphin from the group stirs up the seabed and starts to make a circular ring of mud around a shoal of fish. Then, by making the ring smaller and smaller, it traps the shoal of fish. Now, another bottlenose dolphin in the group signals the remaining dolphins to line up around the circle. So, when the confused and trapped fishes try to escape by jumping out of the mud ring, they end up in the dolphins' mouths. In addition to this, although dolphins have eyes to see, they even have the ability to echolocate, which can help them navigate better, especially in murky water. To echolocate, dolphins produce high-frequency sound waves which travel through water and get reflected from obstacles as echoes. 
When these echoes return to the dolphins, they are able to identify the location, shape, etc. of the obstacles. Hence, using this method, they easily avoid the obstacles and navigate in murky water. Hmm. Moreover, it is also observed that using low-frequency sound, dolphins communicate with each other. They even have signature whistles, like names which they use to call each other. According to a study, it is also believed that dolphins can recognize themselves in the mirror. This quality of physical self-awareness is not usually present in other animals.